Man, you guys, I spent all my money on a limousine, and now I have nothing left to show for it. Hey, welcome back to Flannel Farms. My name is Brian. Today we're going to make a new pig area in the woods for our pigs. They have been in their area too long. They've eaten everything in there, and it is time to move them. It can be easy to let pigs stay in one area too long, and we have done that. They have pretty well destroyed the ground. So what we're gonna need today is chainsaw, screw gun, some little plastic posts, and we'll put some pigs on wire in the woods. Before we get too far into making a new paddock, let me show you what they have done to the old area. This area was two separate areas that we combined into one, and you can see what they've done back here. Now, I pushed over a lot of the trees, but this was all lush green and you can see they have underbrushed very well. This is the area that they're in also, and they have not underbrushed it quite as well. They don't like the stabby vines. But you can see back here, they have underbrushed quite nicely. So what we're gonna do is kinda like we've done here. There's a wire here, there's a post down there. And this area here was wired off, and we opened it to them there. We've just done that again, and we've just done that again to the original paddock area that when we first had pigs we made in the woods. They haven't moved over there yet because they know there used to be a wire there, even though there's not a wire there now. But I've moved their trough over there. When they get hungry, they'll move. So let's look at the new wooded area. It's gonna be our new pig pen. This new area has never had pigs on it. So unlike the area I'm walking past now, which was our original area that had pigs, this new place has had nothing. Nothing, no way, never. So here's our new boundary. This is live. What we're gonna do is we're gonna put a little gate in here at some point. We're probably gonna connect right here. And we're gonna run through the woods that way. I wanna go a lot deeper than we have. Our boundary is probably several hundred feet that way. So we're gonna go much deeper into the woods and then cut around over there and come out where I've already started working. Now, if you had a bulldozer, let's say, you could push right through all those little trees and run your wire and be done with it. But if you're like the normal person that does not have a bulldozer, then you gotta do it with a chainsaw. But the nice thing is the trees actually work as posts. If you plan where it's going, you can use trees as posts and save yourself a little money. So I started to work with Hank, our tractor here. And it was too muddy, the trees were too big. It's just not gonna work. So we're probably gonna connect over here to this side on these couple trees I have here. And then we're gonna work our way right through them stabby, gross, evil, nasty vines. Let's grab a chainsaw, some ear protection, some gloves, and get busy. Well, we <laughs> messed up a little bit. Not back here, this is great. What we did was we found a game trail. That will save you so much time when you're putting your fence in. If you can find a game trail, it means the animals have trampled everything for you. Where I made the mistake is I meant to go up here somewhere and connect with the second paddock. And instead, I got a little excited in the woods and we have made the trail all the way back to our first paddock. Which is right here. All that really means is we have given our pigs even more area than I initially planned on. Okay, so for this, screw gun, screws, and these guys, you just screw these directly into the tree. Won't hurt anything. Very, very inexpensive. Let's get busy. These are about an inch long. My screws are about two. That's it. I typically run two. When they're smaller, sometimes three. 
tree doesn't have to be very large either. It can be a small one like this. This one's only about two inches, but it'll be enough to hold. Typically six to eight inches off the ground. And then another one at a foot to 14 inches. You don't want him to be able to step over it. Don't want him to sneak under it. This is significantly cheaper than buying those plastic stakes. So if possible, putting them in woods is cheaper. I'm gonna repeat that about 40 times. There's no point in showing you that. Then we'll run some wire. All right. On these little plastic doodads, wire insulators if you want to be specific. There's a little hook, there's just one, and what's actually meant to happen is your wire is supposed to go in there, click, and rest, right? They're not really meant for torque. However, I like to click it through there, pull it kind of snug, and wrap it once. That gives me something I can pull against without worrying about snapping that little plastic feed. To raise that up a little bit, but that's okay. We'll just get our drill. We'll raise that. Or if you had more plastic poles, you could put a pole right there. Found one. A little cattywampus. That's okay. Slip it up in there. There you go. All right. I'll show you when we're done. There's a lot of walking, a lot of wiring. All right. Good news, bad news. Good news, we had enough clips. We've run it all the way around once. The bad news is I will not have enough wire to run it back. And we are going to be short maybe two of those little stakes. So we're gonna walk the length of this and I wanna show you how much space we just enclosed and what it actually costs. All right, the plastic insulators were about 10 bucks for 25. The wire is 14 gauge, $80 for a quarter mile. The little plastic posts are about three bucks each. And I think we used well, eventually I'll have used seven or eight of them. And the screws are maybe five bucks. So let's round that up to 10. Let's say there was 10 posts. That's 30 bucks. Wires, 80 bucks, 110. Another 10 bucks for your insulators. 120, screws, 130. And if you had to buy a solar brain or a way to power this, depending on what you buy, anywhere from another 100 to $300. Now we are running one solar brain for all of our cows and all of our pig paddocks. So I did not buy a brain for this job because I have one. And you just keep running jumper wires. Let me tell you something guys, food is gonna get scarce. I don't say that to scare you, I say that to prepare you. We pray and prepare. So for roughly 200 bucks, maybe 300 including the solar brain, you will have a place ready for pigs. They don't need a fancy shelter. They are wild animals. They don't need a giant super fancy waterer. There's lots of things pigs don't need. Depending on the time of year, you can find feeder pigs for 50 bucks. So let me put it to you this way. If you were to get two pigs and enclose the amount of land that I have enclosed and it had stuff in there two pigs could eat, that would cost you roughly $400 the first time. Significantly less the second time. We're still walking the perimeter. That's how big of an area we enclosed in just an afternoon. This is gonna keep my feed bill down by a lot. So the first time, let's say it's 400 bucks, including your $50 feeder pigs, and you get roughly, roughly 100 pounds of meat per pig. It's two bucks a pound the first time. Second time, all this stuff is already here, right? So you buy your two pigs for a hundred bucks each. And if you can feed them with your own land, that's all you pay. You could have 200 pounds of pork next year for a hundred bucks. And that's a pretty good deal. Look, they made it through the wire. Well, not really through the wire. They made it through the opening we made. 
They're still being super skittish though. They haven't committed yet. Well, my friends, I'm off to get another roll of wire. One roll would have done it, but that roll was a partial. We've used it before on the other area. So I have to go get another roll, a few more posts, and piggy paddocks two and three will be done. Thanks for joining me today. I hope you like what you see here. If you do, please hit that like button. If you haven't already, I invite you to subscribe to our channel. We're always trying to find a cheaper, better, faster way to do things. Don't forget to grow as you grow. We'll see you next time.